Hey everyone, this is Julia with Honest Hotel Reviews, and today I'm at the Fairfield Inn by Marriott at the Disneyland Resort giving you an honest room tour and review. This video is not sponsored, so if you find it helpful, we'd love your support. Give us a like, leave a comment, or subscribe, and let our conscience be your guide. The Fairfield Inn is classified as a moderate hotel on the Disneyland Good Neighbor Hotel list. It's right across the street from the park and offers up a lot of bang for your buck. It's so close to the park, you can even see the freaking Matterhorn. And of course, the Disneyland fireworks. How magical is that? Come join us as we check out one of their standard king rooms and stick around to find out how they score on our Honest Hotel room rating. We were stoked to be in a room on the eighth floor of the building. Even though we were facing away from the park towards the freeway and construction site, we could easily walk around to the other side of the building to watch the fireworks or get an awesome view of the park. For a higher price, you can get a Disney-themed room with a view of the park. We decided against this for two reasons. First, as a motel-style building, having a view of the park also means any guests that are walking by your room can see in when you have your blinds open. And secondly, we didn't think the extra price was worth it given the only other upgrade appeared to be the fun Disney-themed wallpaper. The first thing we noticed when we entered our room was it's quite small. With one king bed and one small pull-out couch, there's a max occupancy of three people. But with only two of us in the room, we found it suited our needs and it never felt too small. It was clear that they've done some recent updates to the room, like the new hardwood floors, updated furnishings, and some fresh paint. The king bed was clean and had four pillows, but was definitely an older bed and made a lot of noise, so it was impossible to move in bed without waking up the other person. But it's important to note that good beds are hard to come by when it comes to hotels that are right across the street from the park. There are outlets on the nightstand for charging your devices, plus lots of other outlets around the room and the desk area. It was nice to have the couch and coffee tables for a place to hang out, but to be honest, we barely used it because most of our waking hours were spent at Disneyland. One of our favorite things about this hotel is that the flat screen TV allows you to log in and stream your shows from some of your favorite streaming platforms like Netflix or, hey, YouTube. Moving on to the vanity and bathroom area, it was clear that they had done more updates here as well. Notably, the vanity area, the closet setup, the shower surround, and our personal favorite, the sliding door to separate the hotel room from the vanity area. They had a standard hotel room coffee maker, an in-room safe that easily holds a laptop, an older fridge that wasn't very cold, an iron, ironing board, luggage holder, Paul Mitchell toiletries, and a full-sized hairdryer. There were also four drawers and nine hangers for our clothing. Before I reveal our honest rating on this room, let's take a look at how our reviews work. We rate each room on the same four categories, which are cleanliness and condition, comfort and security, in-room amenities, and value. Keep in mind these ratings are for the room only, but we do a full review of the entire hotel in another video. We've also adjusted our rating scale to reflect the Disneyland area hotels. Many of these hotels are from Walt's era, so we're a little more generous with our rating than we would be at any other resort. First up is cleanliness and condition. Our room at the Fairfield Inn was nicely updated compared to other hotels right across the street from the park at this price point. That said, we can only give it a 3.75 in this category because it is an older hotel and it shows. As mentioned before, the bed was not great. If you stay here, be prepared that it is a very noisy hotel. 
You will hear constant traffic noise from the busy freeway, but to be honest, I don't mind it because it helps drown out the sound of the other guests. The noise that did disturb our sleep was the construction that started at 6 a.m. in the morning on the property beside the hotel. Also, the AC unit sounded like an airplane taking off every time it kicked in, and we could even hear the sounds of other toilets in the hotel being flushed. That said, I've found it hard to find a quiet hotel in this area unless you're prepared to pay twice as much each night. All in all, we landed on a 3 out of 5. The Fairfield Inn gets a 3.5 out of 5 for in-room amenities. They are better than average, as not every hotel has an in-room safe or a full-sized hairdryer. Plus, we loved being able to sign into our Netflix account to watch a little TV before bed. If you're looking for a hotel that's less than a five minute walk to Disneyland, this is one of our top picks. Even though the bed was uncomfortable and the room was small and noisy, trust me when I say this room is better than many. Most of the hotels across the street from the park are in need of some TLC. This hotel had no bugs, no mold, was clean, and best of all, is one of the most reasonably priced. In the end, we gave the Fairfield Inn a 4 out of 5 for value, which is a great score. That said, if you don't mind staying a little further away from the park, there are other hotels with more comfortable rooms for about the same price. This gives the King Room at the Fairfield Inn by Marriott an overall score of 3.6 out of 5. We recommend this hotel to die-hard Disney fans who are looking for a budget-friendly hotel as close to the magic as possible, but who are only here for a shorter stay. For more information on the Fairfield Inn, check out our Honest Hotel Review video and our real-time video of the walk from the hotel to Disneyland Park. If you're considering other hotels in the area, we post new hotel reviews every week. Head over to our YouTube channel or check us out at honesthotelreviews.com for more hotel recommendations and travel tips. I'm Julia, and this has been another Honest Hotel Review.